Hi, my name is Connor. A few months ago I was reading about torpedoes and I learned that it's, the typical torpedo can reach speeds of 50 to 60 knots underwater. And the British Spearfish torpedo can reach speeds of up to 80 knots. But then I learned that the Russians built a torpedo which could reach speeds of up to 200 knots underwater. They did this using a phenomenon known as supercavitation. That got me interested, so I did some experiments to understand how supercavitation works. For my first attempt, I built a machine with a rotating arm that was designed to move a test probe through the water at speeds of around 30 miles per hour. I attached a GoPro Black Edition camera to the arm to film the supercavitation effect. By the way, the machine was based on a design published by Kim Fowler, John Sheehan, and Steven Silver. So thanks guys! The probe is pretty simple. It's just a piece of threaded rod. I used the coupling nut to attach a machine screw to the end of the probe. The machine screw is the cavitator, so I just wanted to see if a cavitation bubble will form around the head of the screw if I move it through the water fast enough. Alright, now we're up to full speed. It's kind of hard to see, but if you watch carefully as we slow it back down, you can see the super cavitation bubble. For this particular test, we reached speeds of around 25 miles per hour. Unfortunately, the water was very turbulent and it was hard to see the super cavitation. You can just see it at the end of the video if you watch carefully as the probe is slowing down. I did a bunch of tests with this machine but ultimately decided that I needed smoother water and more horsepower. You can see where I went with that in my next video.